I see what Hoge Chaps and Chap it's Game Chap and Birdie here. Yes! Yes indeed, Videos, and I would say we are investigating the wondrous steam power modification now by Professor Flexbeard, you know. Steam in Minecraft? Oh yes, wonderful steam, it's really mean. Uh, uh, mean steam, yes. Yes! Oh, so, anyway, now, I dare say, in this modification, it adds a whole array of different things. Now, we are going to go and show you exactly what's going on here, and have no. you seen, buddy, my wondrous top hat, old chap! Your wondrous top hat? Oh, yes, it's absolutely very nice indeed. Yes, yes, Lovely. yes. Lovely. As Look, you can see, this, no. we have constructed, in this corner of the village, a laboratory, you know. We most certainly have. Well, it's like a lab. Because this is an extremely in-depth and rather clever mod, is it not? It is, old boy, that adds many things to Minecraft based on the wondrous power of steam, and it can do an amazing number of things, all in a classical sort of Victorian steampunky style. It most certainly can. As you can see, this laboratory complies exactly with BSA testing and certified etc. My goodness me, I, I can see that, old chap. Yes. As you can see, but else we have a lab fully swapped with gear here, old Yes, of course, and to everyone, of everybody knows if it's BSA stamped, it's 100% safe and there's nothing to worry about. Well, well uh, where to begin, old chap? Indeed, uh, as you can who's see... Who's this? Uh, who's that, old boy? Uh, oh, that's a Oh, great Scott, old chap. He's, he's the lab assistant, you know. Most as you can see, videos, firstly in this modification, in order to get anywhere, you're going to have to craft something, which is a book plus a piece of copper ore, that's a new ore, and zinc ore. Well, hang on a minute. Those yes. zinc and copper ores are new ores in the world. They are. Yes, and they are found, well, underneath the ground, but you have to go and dig them. The, I think you can dig them quite easily with an iron pickaxe, as I remember. Iron pickaxe, of course, and that would indeed give you, strangely, this book, as you can see, is Steamed Innovation. Now, ah. this Steamed Innovation book basically tells you everything you could possibly want to know about the modification. Right. Rather nicely bound book there, as you can see. Yes. Now, inside this book, we can, of course, see guides to the different things that we're going to be making. Now, indeed, yes. as you can see, first and foremost, you will need to be making something known as a boiler ale chap. A boiler? Oh, That's right. But now, before you make the boiler, I do believe you may need some brass. Ah, of course. Now, indeed, to get the said boiler, and as you can see, we have some boilers installed over here, you will need to firstly use, indeed, this crucible here. Ah, yes, but firstly, no, I do believe, firstly, you have to do some smelting. Yes, well, yes, of course, old chap. Indeed, the, the zinc and copper ore we mentioned previously, Fedels, you'll need to snap that in your furnace. And uh, as you can see, oh, we have a furnace round here. Now, yes, the ones I put some in there earlier. Did you really? Oh, I did, yes, still there. It's not here now, old no. chap. No, perhaps in this one, old boy. Uh, yes, well, I can't right. find it, never mind. Well, look, but, if you put, um, yes, if you put your coal in there along with your iron or, no, your zinc or your copper ore, you will produce these. Yes. Uh, this. Uh, oh, I see, you, you've got them, old chap. Yes, I have. Oh. Zinc up there. Well done, old chap. It's yes. right, there. You're going Zinking to get got it. zinc ingots, like so, and indeed copper ingots. Copper, there right? you are, you can have one of those two. You can make copper pennies with those, old boy, with Queen Victoria's face on them, you know. Can you really? Uh? Well, not not really, old chap, right. but uh, oh, it's gold, old boy, never mind. Never mind. Uh, right, okay, now you get these together and do something, don't you? I, I shall need, please, uh, some more copper and zinc, old boy. Okay, now, what do you want? Uh, plenty, old chap. Oh, now, of course, in pieces. order to make brass, as you fans of metallurgy may know, you're going to need the following recipe, and yes. that's... Oh, my, my copper, old boy, it's gone, I say. Oh, what? here it is, right. Nice. You'll need copper and zinc in the following combination. Three parts copper, yes. one, two, three, and one part zinc, one. Well, hang on, what's that thing you're putting in? That is, of course, a crucible, and as you can see, interestingly, it's formed a sort of metallic alloy liquid in the bottom of the crucible. Uh -huh. Now, the question is, how do you make the crucible, old chap? Ah, now, the crucible is, I believe, made from bricks. Bricks? Yes, we're right. There like are. a kiln, old boy. Bricks just like the kiln. Yes, and you mind? all together, all around, and you will produce the crucible. Ah, yes, this is a clever... mold, too. That's a clever use for Minecraft bricks, as you can see, like so, Fadils. There you go, there's your crucible, old chap. Ah, yes, you know, all, yes, yes, all around. But not the whole. The whole no, thing. in a crucible shape, U yes. shape. That's it. Yes, now, U shape. You. You now place that over, of course, an open fire, as the mod author says, or in this case, a good old bucket of lava will do. Now, a bit of lava. Just be careful because lava is rather spicy. Oh, it most certainly is, but it's good fun though. It's so what's good this fun. thing here? Now, this, of course, is also an item you'll need in order to make the valley ores themselves. Now, we can right-click any block with the book in this modification oh, to see what it does. And as you can see, this is a mould block. The ah. crucible you'll see, as the book says there, is completely useless without this. Uh -huh. So, of course, you will make the mould block using yes. six bricks. Six <laughs> bricks? Six, six bricks, and then your clicks will give you a mould. Six bricks will do the trick! That's right. But indeed, of course... Then give it a flick! You'll have to specify yes. what kind of mould it actually is. Uh -huh. And if we just check out, um, you're going to need... Ah, yes, of course. You will need to specify this as an ingot mould. Well, we want to make brass, don't we? We do. We want to make brass ingots. So as yes. you can see, we have this specified as a brass ingot. And normally, the mould is open, right click it like so, and it closes. Ah, but there's a little hole inside. Look at that little hole. Yeah. That's where all the liquid, molten liquid, should go in to make the ingot. Very clever. Right yeah, clever, I say. Now, don't climb on the desk in the science lab. Now, as you can see, right... Tap, 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 tap. Go on. 
on in. Yes, I used to turn the taps on and then, and then set them fire with the lighter. No. The Bunsen burners. <laughs> no, no, please, never mind. No, you can do that now. Um, anyway, inside our lab, next step, of course, that we're going to do is to right click the crucible, which will initiate. A, oh, hold on, I say, by George, there we are. Right click the crucible with your open hand, and no, it's going to pour it on the floor. Just, no, who designed this lab? I say. What you've given? You've, it's gone the wrong way. No, the, the crucible's around the wrong way. That's it. That's, that's it. it. As you can see, that point there is, of course, the pin and hinge point. But yeah, I need some more copper, El Chef, on the double man. As you can see in the videos, with yeah. the said copper ingot placed into the crucible, right click it like so, and it yes. shall pour forth into this mold. Oh. As you can see, the amount... I'm just making noise. Yes, the amount of liquid inside the crucible has decreased, and opening the mold shall reveal... Ta-da! A brass ingot spiffing and voila! Oh my goodness, be one bro... Cool, you'll be sitting there for ages making all those, won't you? You'll have to make plenty of brass oh, well. ingots, so lots to get, lots to get your teeth into here. Oh, yes. But of course, with brass ingots in hand, you can start to make brass pistons. Ah. Uh -huh. uh, as you can see here, this will of course lead over to the next natural phase of progression, which is the boiler. Ah, uh, who's a minute? The brass, the brass pistons, do you know how to make them? Uh, how, old chap? I will apparently take a piston and then surround it with the uh, brass ingots. And then Uncle Bob, I think that's right, comes along, running along, isn't he? Uh, I think he does. Actually, let's just bring the recipe up on the screen as yes, you can see videos. To make a brass piston like so, oh, that's absolute rubbish. you will need to place brass ingots uh, uh, in a sort of three-shaped configuration there around a piston, and beneath it needs to be a pipe. Now, ah. to make the pipe, of course, you'll need yet more brass ingots. Ah, so what I said was absolute rubbish then. Well, yes, as you can Nearly. see, six brass ingots fashioned in that manner there will give you a pipe times four. Hey, and point. Of, yes, of course. Give and, me point. That's right. And then, a newspaper. then you can, of course, combine yes. that with more brass ingots in that configuration oh, yes. with plaza piston to get your brass pistons. Now, Ooh. you're going to need those to yes. make your boiler, of course. Oh, the boiler! This is a good business. Hold on. Boiler Stay. and pressures and peeps. Steady on now. Cap, put the brakes on, put the brakes uh. on. No, a uh, small correction there. Whilst the piston is an important component of steam machinery, yes. you won't need pistons to make your boiler. Oh. All you need for this boiler contraption here is simply brass ingots surrounding a furnace, which right. then gives you a boiler as you can see. The boiler. Now, with these things made, of course, you can start to get the steam process on the way. Aha, uh -huh. so these are boilers, are they? What's these gauges on the front? These are boilers. Now, I have fitted these boilers, as you can see, with steam gauges to indicate Ooh. the current level of pressure in the system. My there boy. is also attached to the side of the pipe a steam whistle. Oh, now, a whistle! That whistle will, of course, alert us if the steam pressure inside the system gets too high and therefore could risk an explosion. Oh, uh, oh really? Well, that would be uh, that would be bad, wouldn't it? Yeah, yes, it would, old chap. Explosion? And fitted to the top right of the How system, work, we have the emergency venting valve. Now, once ah. more, should the system's pressure become too high, we can simply right-click this with our open hand like so. Yes. And off ah. goes the steam. Ah, listen to that. Lovely. It's raining. Turn the bally rain off, for goodness sakes, I say. I like that. No, it, it's more of a hissing sound, old chap. It's... Like that. Be quiet, man. Oh, there you go. It's very, very hissy. Now, we'll just turn that off. As you can see, the level of pressure in the system has gone down. Consequently dropped. Now, mm -hmm. should we wish to increase the level of pressure in the yes. system, we will, of course, need to combine, as you can see there, a drop of coal as our fuel and mix that with a bit of coal. And I say, wait for it, if Bob's your uncle, water buckets. Ah. Right click plenty of water buckets to yep. place water into the system. Uh -huh. And there you go. Ooh. It's been filled up with water and is now generating steam like the clappers. It was only, I tried to put the bucket in the bottom slot there, but it didn't work. Now, you can't burn water, old chap. Yep. Yes, you can. You can evaporate it, you can't burn it. You can, burning and evaporating, same thing. No, it's not. It's got to get hot and it's burning. Now, of course, as yes. of course, this is then connected in turn right. to a closed valve, which leads over to a steam hammer. This is a very curious oh. contraption. Whoa. Now, the steam hammer, as you can see, should be right like so, can be crafted with blocks of iron, of iron, iron ingots, and brass ingots in that How do you make these brass plates? Well, I, I'm not sure, old boy. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, um, oh, it, it doesn't say, old chap. Ah, it must be somewhere. You'll have to work it out how to make those brass plates. But right, okay. either ingots or plates will do the job. Now, right. we're going to need a damaged sword to show them how this works, old chap. A damaged sword? We're we'll going to hit something, then. Good idea. Hold on. Right, hold on. Right, okay, give me that sword and I'll hit him with it. No, no, you Professor can't. Bladsworthy. You can't do all that. That's cruel, I say. Yeah. Poor Bladsworthy. He's not doing it. He's just sitting there, wasting time. We're doing all the work. And that's uh, going... Yes, we... Oh, hang on. There's not too much pressure in there, is there? No, not much pressure in the system, but it should be enough to get the Job done here. Right. Place the uh, diamond sword into your steam hammer and we'll need some diamonds. Do you have diamonds, El Chef? Diamonds? Uh, yes, but you're not having them. Fetch them over, please. What? Well, you're my diamonds! Keep hitting, that's it, keep going! What are you doing, man? Yes, we'll wear it down! Um, slight change of plan, please. Yes, that's the sort of thing we do off camera, you see? Yes, it is. We're yes. going to use here, as you can see, this yes. damaged iron sword instead and get ah. those diamonds out and place in the iron ingots for repair purposes and right. there you go, it's started now, I say! My good. 
my word, did, did you, you hear that? that? Did you hear that noise? Yes, do it again. Oh, it was wonderful. Do it again. Oh, he's repaired it already, old boy. That was fast. We'll break it again and have another go. No, he doesn't want to. There's not enough pressure here getting through, I say. Ah. Oh, that's why the valve shut, of course. Ah, eh? oh, open the valve like so. And there we go. Look at that, old chap. <laughs> that's lovely. Oh, did you hear that bit? Look. How marvellous is that, Freddy? Oh, there you, you go. That, that boom. That was good, that bit. <laughs> yes, I do like the way that works. And, of course, once it's finished repairing your sword, using the mighty wonder of steam, you can, of course, remove it from the right-hand side there to get your sword back in repaired glory. This is absolutely wonderful. My goodness me, a working steam. How do you make that happen? And it doesn't cost you any experience points, just ingots. It uses the power of steam. Very clever, yes, I say. Yes, enclosing your special steam room here. Yes, Or a science laboratory or similar. Now, there, of course, is our testing setup for steam pulses. Emergency vent valve. What does this do? Let's have a go. That of course, vents the, the steam out through the, uh, the steam, steam, as you can see. Oh. Yes, that's right. Of course, for emergency purposes. Now, over here, we have some more contraptions to show you. All contraptions, yes, all oh, we love them. This contraption over here is a mortar based item launching contraption, you'll say. Did you say mortar based? I did, old boy. What? what? This one is getting better and better. This is a most interesting device. As you can see, we have all Thanks those monsters in the village. Use this superbly powerful super boiler of sorts, or known as a flash boiler. Now, this is. It really, is rather flash. It is rather flash. Not like that, old chap. Ah. For this, as you can see, yes. you're going to need some nether bricks, some boilers, some pipes, and some brass ingots. Right. That will give you only two flash boiler components, but you're actually yes. going to need two, four, Th lots of those, in fact. Two times two times two, eight you'll need, old chap. Two times two times two. Two times two. Four, yes, two, that's right. As so right. When yes. you place all of those boiler components, which look like yes. this together, yes. they'll form this structure here, ah. and they have to be placed in a 2x2 two two cube shape, as you can see, to make yes. this large building. Now, that will, of course, boil your water at a much higher rate, but it in goes the water, old chap. Hurry yeah, up. In goes the water. Um, oh, hang on. Hang on. Get some water buckets. I'll get some of the water coming on the double. Now, yes. that, of course, boils at ten times the rate of your standard boilers, fails. And as you can see, it also has a rather imposing texture when it's active. If you do want to click it, then. You'll do. Oh, yeah. oh, wait, here we go. Oh, hang on, I've got a bad frame rate. What's going on? There we, there we are. are. There that's we that. are. Look, Look at, at that. that, I say. That's very impressive. Ooh. Also, watch that pressure needle. Goodness me, it's stormy up here, old chap. Oh, yes, yes. But My word, hold on to your hats, Fennels. Button down the hatches. It's going to go, do you know? Is it? Oh, wonderful. What? How does it work, then? As you can see, though, we can also vent that uh, out the roof there, should it, it be needed, <laughs> using our emergency oh. valve. But for the time being, we're going to place into our jolly mortar launcher some yes. copper ingots, like so. Ingots. Now, you watch this, Fennels. Hold what on, I say. There we go! Look at that, I say! Where are they going? They're going off into the sky, I say! But where? You can place those into your item hopper to auto-fire them, like so. Now, outside the door here... Yes. Wait for it, Fennels. Here it comes, I say! Wait, wait, wait. My goodness me, look, look, they're more shaped. They stick in the ground. That's right. These things, of course, are fired Ooh. by the mortar outside and they can land anywhere you like. Now, you may be wondering, how do you specify a target? Well, it's a good question, I say. Oh, yes, please, how do you do that? Well, what you have to do is go back to your mortar lab, or mortar lab, rather like so. Hey, wait a minute, I want to put some things in. Not now, old yes, chap. Yes, I want to throw some things in. You will need to use, oh. as you can see, an yes. astro lab. Now, Astro. that's like a pocket watch of sorts in a fancy work way manner speaking. Really? To make the astro lab, surround a piece of redstone with brass ingots and to make the mortar you'll need to use brass ingots combined with a piston and some copper. Now of course what you'll have to do as it says in the guide here is place items into the hopper which are then fed into the mortar as you can see it right. likes well, hold a bit, hold using a bit. that pipe there yes. and then of course you'll need to use an astro lab pocket watch and shift right to the ground with that astro lab to set a target for the mortar. My goodness me I, I lost you at the zinc ingots never mind but look at this every time it fires it goes boom 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 look at that. It's very clever. Look I'm going to throw some things in proper mortar power. Uh, uh, must you, old boy? No, don't do that. That's silly, old no, chap. That's silly. Well, how do you get them in? You, you just like tip the hopper to open it up and place the items inside. It's very simple, ah, old chap. Right, okay, I've, I've done it. But don't worry because your plans won't work. That it doesn't work like that, old chap. Oh, it must work. Well, it's look, it's it, fine, it's 18, I should. No, it merely transports the items, as you can see, on top of a mortar round, like so. So, oh. when that comes down from the sky, as you can see, um, they were holding it, hasn't arrived yet, you'll see. Still doing the ridiculous ingot thing you put on there. I can see. Put there it you go. On the end of the mortar round is, of course, a piece of TNT, but don't worry. It's not an unexploded bomb, old chap. Kaboom! I have managed to get out the door, too. That was wonderful, wasn't it? Oh, and don't let them fall on your head, or they do hurt, old boy. Oh, quick, in here, then. Well, my word, Hales, yes. this modification is truly remarkable, and we've yes. really only just scratched the surface here. It's uh, absolutely wonderful. Uh, I see, buddy. What are you doing there, good man? I'm looking after the border, making sure it's all stocked up and everything's 100% working as it should, that's all. Yeah, very good. Carry on, then. Right. But anyway, Hales, I guess we shall be coming back to this modification soon to show you more exciting things I've heard. There's exosuits, old chap. There's all sorts of things in this. This is rather fun. You can build things and create and do all sorts more. 
so that's it. Whoa, the whoa, whoa. Yes. Um, hold on, but that, that needle's getting a bit funny. Are you sure this is an order, old boy? Needle? Which needle? Look, the needle's going mad, old boy. But by George, get down, don't worry about the funny thing. Don't worry, the George, what have you done? You have some conniving air, if I say. You want me with the boiler? I thought that needle was the air temperature. Nothing to do with me at all. You bunny needle brain. I thought it was a bit hot. Get back here, bonds, I say. Think about no. what else I say. I really want to see you once more the legs. I, I, I trust you're paying for repairs, old chap. Oh. That's a learn. No, no lava. Well, needless to say, I had no idea.